Uranium is a fascinating radioactive element. In this video, I examine the radioactivity of different uranium-containing materials, including uranium metal, uranium ore, pre-World War II of fiesta ware plate, and uranium glass samples. The background radiation in my location produces about 17 counts per minute on my Geiger counter. If I get the detector as close as I can to my 1.8 gram sample of uranium metal, I get about 630 times background. I can block most of the alpha and beta radiation with a 1 mm thick titanium metal sheet. And over 99% of the uranium metal radiation is blocked with a 1 mm thick sheet of lead. Let's look at the uranium ore. It's less than half the counts per minute of the uranium metal. However, the titanium and lead shielding are clearly less effective in blocking the uranium ore radiation. In fact, the lead shielding was more than 10 times less effective in blocking the uranium ore radiation when compared to the uranium metal. With this broken piece of antique fiesta ware, you can clearly see the very thin coating of orange uranium containing glaze. It's less radioactive than the uranium metal, but both the titanium and lead shielding proportionately block the radiation in a very similar way to the uranium metal. My uranium containing glass marble and candle holder were quite low in radioactivity, but the shielding results for the candle holder appeared roughly similar to the uranium metal and fiesta ware results. Here you can see the effects of the titanium and lead shielding on the different samples. You can clearly see a similar pattern for the uranium metal and fiesta ware. About 5% of the radiation came through the titanium shielding and less than 1% came through the lead shielding. In contrast, much more radiation came through for the shielding for the uranium ore sample. Why did the uranium ore shielding results differ from the other samples? I think the answer lies in the fact that the uranium metal, as well as the fiesta ware and uranium glass, incorporate purified uranium, while the uranium ore has been around for millions of years, time for some of the uranium to decay into other more energetic uh, radioactive elements. A few of the uranium atoms in the ore sample have decayed to radium, an element that is one million times more radioactive than uranium. I hope you found this interesting and thanks for watching.